Sony just dropped the mic on the whole TV industry. Yup, the rumors are true. Sony is coming out with a RGB mini LED TV. Let the games begin. It has begun. But it's not coming out until 2026. What's going on YouTube team and welcome back to the channel. My name is Max and today we got some news or the time that I upload this video will be tomorrow. So yesterday we got some news. Sony just announced their RGB mini LED TV yeah. and it's coming out next year. Aww. All right, well, all jokes aside, this is really good news for people who are into Sony, and this is good for the TV industry because now we got RGB mini LED TV, and Hisense is not the only one that's going to be making an RGB TV. Sony is going to be entering the market, even though it's not coming in in 2025, we are going to see it in 2026, which is a I think it's good news. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's exciting to see that we get a new technology or kind of like new technology, but it's nice to see that the technology is starting to come back now with hopefully in a more affordable way. Now, I know the news is going out like wildfire, just like when Stop the FOMO, Brian, HGTV Test, Digital Trend, and multiple media outlets already revealed the news about Sony just announced their RGB mini LED TVs. But I'm about to go ahead and read some of the article from Flat Panels HD and to talk about a little bit more detail of what this really means and when it's coming out roughly and what does this really mean for the industry. Now I'm about to go ahead and talk about Flat Panels HD article and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. So go ahead and check that out. But Sony unveils the RGB LED tech. Sony has introduced a new RGB LED backlighting system for LCD TVs, offering major improvements in color accuracy, brightness, and efficiency. Not mini LED or micro LED, unlike Hyson, TCL, and Samsung. Sony does not brand this as RGB mini LED or RGB micro LED, instead calling it simply RGB LED. Individual RGB LEDs, each red, green, and blue, LED is controlled separately unlike traditional LED or mini LED backlights that rely on blue LED and quantum dots. Better colors and brightness, the RGB LED system achieves 90% Rec 2020 color space, 4000 nits, peak brightness, and improved viewing angles. Advanced backlighting control, Sony has 66-bit RGB LED backlight control combined with a 10-bit LCD panel. Results are 96-bit processing system surpassing the current mini LED TV. Remember in the Bravia 9 that came out last year, we had a 22-bit and now we're going up all the way up to a 66-bit. So just imagine how that would look when we finally get our hands on this TV coming out in 2026. Also, they talked about is the energy efficiency gains. Yeah, I'm not going to go into too much about that, but they all go ahead and brief description. They mentioned that the dynam dynamically adjusting the backlight is a system optimizes power uses with enhancing picture quality. Better than the Hyson, TCL, and Samsung, Sony deep experience with RGB LED technology since 2004, along with exclusive partnerships, gives it an edge over the competition. An expressing dimming system, a 75 inch prototype, features 3,840 dimming zones, a significant upgrade over the Bravia 9 2080 zones. However, it doesn't match OLED pixel level dimming. So that's something to keep in mind too. This is something that is a huge improvement when it comes to this realm, but it's not on the same level as OLED. So those are kind of like the things just to think about, but this is really, really good news. When it comes to next level performance for LCDs, it demos Sony RGB LED match QD OLED in color, which delivering significantly higher brightness. So if we take a step back and think about this, we know we're not going to get the same level of control when it comes to pixels as OLED. However, you're getting 
QDOLED OLED color while significantly getting higher brightness. So let that sink in just for a moment. You get way more brightness. Now they're talking about 4,000 this. And this TV that they demoed here was a couple years old, according to Stop the FOMO, Brian HGTV test and be the installer. So it's a couple years old when they show this demo. So who's to say that they could make even more improvements when this TV is going to come out in 2026. So just to think about that is at the level or maybe even better than QD OLED when it comes to color. And then also we talking about higher brightness. We talking about 4,000 nits, but you know, as Sony doesn't really say what the brightness is until it actually come out with a TV and people are start to take a look at it. But I expect it to even be even better or maybe even surpassing the 4,000 nits because it is a prototype TV in a, a couple years old. So I know Sony is making some tinkering in the background as we speak, as the news is being developed. But switching to some of the limitations remain, despite the major improvement, it still can't eliminate the haloing and high contrast scenes, especially when it comes to small, bright objects. However, they did change how the way it looks. You don't have that white filter when you have on the mini LED or LCD TVs. Now they changed it where it has red, where you don't notice it, especially when it comes to the color why is that it matches the same brightness as the other colors so just think about it that we probably won't notice it but until we actually get the tv we'll go ahead and make the adjustments for that but other than that expected that the high-end models is not going to come out to 2026 which i mentioned in the beginning of the video which is a huge bummer but i think it's a good thing that is coming out in 2026 and the reason why it is is that now we know what Sony is going to be coming out with the first thing in 2026. And also too, even though Heisen is coming out with their TV first this year with the RGB mini LED TV, the 116 inch UX TV, we Sony can really observe what the competitors are doing and seeing what they, what their strengths are, what the weaknesses are. And they can also make tweaks to what they could currently do on a TV that's going to be coming out in 2026. But other than that, I'm I'm super excited about the news. I know I'm a little bit late about this. I wanted to look at every article. I want to look at every video. Just observe what some people are saying about Sony's announcement. But I'm super stoked about it. Just the only thing is, is that this TV is going to be super expensive. We don't know how expensive it's going to be. So that's going to be another question that we have to wait later down the line once we get more information about the TV. But let me know in the comments, are you excited about this new RGB TV that's coming out for Sony? Are you still going to be sticking with QD OLED? Or are you going to be thinking about just sticking with LG, W OLED, or Panasonic, or whatever uh, TV manufacturer that you could think of right now? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see everyone in the next video. Take care. Bye.